Hi everyone, in this tutorial I want to talk about how to get your first Flutter job and show you a hypothetical assignment that I would give to candidates interviewing for a Flutter developer role. So let's start by talking about you. Maybe you've been learning Flutter for a little while, you did some side projects and followed some tutorials or courses online. Then you found the courage to send your application for a Flutter developer role and you have been accepted for a job interview. You are excited but also frightened at the same time. Now, one of the interview stages consists in completing a take-home project, and your chances of getting the job depend on how well you perform on this task. Now, let's see how things look on the hiring side. The interviewer is the tech lead for a startup or small company that is currently hiring for a flatter position. As the tech lead, he is already busy with a lot of other tasks, planning work for other developers, doing feature development and code reviews, managing releases and defining the long-term vision alongside product owners. The tech lead wants to maximize his chances of finding good candidates without completely disrupting his own work, and chances are that a few candidates will be evaluated before making a decision. So he comes up with a take-home project that candidates should be able to complete. And you might wonder why a take-home project? The reason for that is quite simple. To put it bluntly, people can write anything they want on their CV, but the CV in itself has little value if they don't have any supporting evidence for their skills. Ideally, as an interviewer, I'd like to see either of these two things from candidates. Some code on GitHub, whether it's an app or contributions to other open source projects, or one or more mobile apps that they have personally published on the Apple or Play Store. And why do I like to see these things? because this gives me some insight into how they work, what their code looks like, and how well they present their work. Surprisingly, many candidates don't have anything to show beyond their CV, and this means that this is a great chance for you to stand out. On the other hand, when candidates send a CV with no links to some of their previous work, I have no choice but to give them a more structured technical interview so that I can better assess their skills and a take-home project gives me some very good insight into how they would do on the job on a daily basis. I find this much more valuable than other types of interviews, where candidates are asked to solve tasks on the whiteboard or recall algorithms that they haven't seen since they graduated from college. You're likely to get these types of interviews if you apply for positions at big tech companies, but for a lot of other jobs, a take-home project is a more optimal way of assessing candidates. By the way, in recent times I've also seen a trend towards creating a developer portfolio. This is normally a website with a showcase of all the projects that you've done in the past. Don't get me wrong, a developer portfolio adds a lot of value when you present yourself to a hiring manager. But it also takes a lot of time to make one, so as far as I'm concerned, links to your GitHub work and the apps that you've built are sufficient. Now, let's get back to the take-home assignment. And as an interviewer, I'm likely to give you a project that requires some knowledge of the same stack that is used at the company you're applying for. For Flutter positions, I would ask to build a simple app which makes use of either Flutter and Firebase or Flutter and some REST API. In this video, I will focus on the Flutter and Firebase project and maybe I will cover the other kind of assignment in a future video. In any case, I want to be mindful of people's time. So any assignment that I would give should take a few hours to complete and no longer than one day at most. With that in mind, here's the brief for a possible assignment using Flutter and Firebase. And I'm just going to read this through because this is what you'll be expected to complete. So here we go. Implement a simple weight tracker app using Firebase Alt and Cloud Firestore. On first launch, the app lets users sign in with Firebase and you can use anonymous sign in for simplicity. After signing, the app shows a page where the user can enter his or her weight into a form and submit it, save this along with the current time into Firestore, and view a list of all weight entries sorted by most recent date. The app should update in real time when the data changes on Firestore. Bonus features, edit an existing weight entry, delete entries, and also sign out functionality. After this, I would include some notes to set some additional context. So feel free to use dependency injection libraries such as Provider or Getit if appropriate. When building the UI and navigating between screens, choose the approach that makes most sense in terms of usability. 
adding tests is not required for this project, but the final code should be testable. If some requirements appear to be vague or lack sufficient details, make assumptions based on your own judgment. The assignment will be evaluated according to the following criteria. The app works and satisfies the requirements outlined above. General project structure and organization of code. Separation of concerns between UI, authentication and database code. Simplicity. We don't require an over-engineered solution and naming conventions for variables, functions, and classes. Note that making the UI look nice is not required as part of this task. Legible text and usable UI is sufficient, and the expected duration of this assignment is between 3 and 8 hours. And then I include some instructions on how to submit the assignment when this is complete. So this is the assignment, and now let me give you a bit of insight about the things that I'm looking for as an interviewer. First of all, the project requires knowledge of the most basic features of Firebase Authentication and Cloud Firestore. It is not a complex project because it's meant to be completed in less than a day. However, it does tell me a lot about how candidates organize their code and their understanding of some fundamental concepts. By looking at the completed project, I can see if a candidate knows how to manage user sessions and storing per user data in Firestore whether they are familiar with crude operations in Firestore, if they know about working with forms and basic state management, it will also tell me if they understand asynchronous programming with futures and streams, and if they know how to make reactive Flutter applications, and also how they go about dependency injection, and if they use scoped access or global access. So even junior candidates with some basic understanding of Flutter and Firebase should be able to produce a working solution and more experienced candidates should be able to produce modular, testable code with good separation of concerns and clear naming conventions. By the way, the brief was deliberately vague in some of the requirements. This is an opportunity for candidates to come up with good solutions that can be discussed at a later stage in the interview process. Ok, so let's do a summary. As an interviewer, this take-home project gives me a good understanding of the candidate's skill level with Flutter and Firebase. I can discuss the completed project in the final part of the interview. If candidates did well, this can lead to a broader discussion of some more complex problems that they have faced in the past. If they didn't, I can provide constructive feedback about things they could have considered. Of course, the take-home project does not give me a full picture about a candidate, and I also need to evaluate how well he or she would work in a team. In this context, communicating clearly is very important, especially for remote positions, and there are also other skills that I will look for, but missing the mark on the take-home project is very likely to result in a no-hire decision. So I hope that this video has given you some perspective about what to expect when interviewing for a Flutter position. Of course, interviews can vary quite a lot from company to company. But if you do get a take-home assignment, then you should be prepared. As I said in previous videos, Flutter and Firebase are a great combination for bringing apps to market in record time. Many companies are using them to build their products. So if you want to learn more about Flutter and Firebase, you can take my course on Udemy. With over 20 hours of content, this goes above and beyond the assignment that we have covered in this tutorial. By taking the course, you will build a complete time tracking application. This will support multiple signing methods with Firebase, and as part of this, you will build an email and password signing flow. And once signed in, you will see a list of jobs and learn how to read and write data with Cloud Firestore, as well as working with forms and date time pickers. A lot of important concepts are explained so that you can take what you learn in this course and apply it to your own projects. And there is also an advanced section on a rec start, showing how to combine together multiple data streams coming from Firestore. So once again, this course prepares you for writing real-world maintainable apps, and you can get it for a discounted price by using the link that you can find on my website. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that this video will help you with your Flutter job interviews, and I'll see you on the next video.